Animal protection agencies are now investigating unlicensed puppy peddling. That's been going on up and down the front range now for months. The focus is on a woman from Texas who has been selling puppies without licenses or permits. She told CBS4 investigator Brian Moss she's just trying to solve a problem. Well, here's what Brian found out. This is Willow. A Denver man bought the sweet looking puppy last week from a Texas woman who was selling rescue puppies at a Denver park. Within hours, Willow's new owner said she was sick and had to go to the vet for hundreds of dollars in treatment. Severely dehydrated, vomiting, diarrhea, and would eat or drink. Aaron Jones runs an established licensed Denver rescue operation and says Willow's owners and six other people have called Jones Puppy Rescue in the last two months, complaining they bought puppies from a woman at events in parks and ended up with sick dogs. She doesn't care if they're going to live in a backyard. Unsupervised on a chain for their entire lives, she doesn't care. Uh, she's she's looking to make a quick buck. Hey, Who's selling these dogs? I am. The issue boiled over last week when a woman confronted the puppy seller in a Denver park as she was peddling dozens of pups out of the back of her car. A little rescues and they have drove up from Dallas, Texas. They came 15 hours to find homes. How much are are they? Well, um, we're asking $600. $600 for a rescue dog? Well, that's not good. We travel to and from Texas every single week, and I can tell you it does not cost us $600 round trip in gas. The puppy seller soon left the park. We tracked her down and identified her as Linda Casey, living in Texas, who used to live in Denver. She says her intentions are good trying to save puppies that would be euthanized in Texas. I, I've sold 100. Casey agreed to meet with us and address whether she was even licensed and permitted to sell rescue puppies in parks. You've been selling puppies here without the proper licensing or registration, correct? I've had every, I'm having things in the works right now, and I want to go back to I saw a problem and I was trying to fix it. You're not answering my question, Linda. Have you had the proper licensing and registration? She eventually admitted she did not have the licenses necessary and only applied for them the day of this interview. I'm saying that everything is in the works. And have I made mistakes? Yes. I saw a problem and I found, tried to find a solution. I was ignorant to a lot of what was needed. The Colorado Department of Agriculture, which regulates puppy sales, is investigating Casey. And I did make mistakes. And I'm open to feedback. And I'm, I want to do things the right way. She now promises she will not sell rescue puppies out of her car or in parks until she has permits and licenses. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First.